on today's episode on World Drive M, we are going to start tackling the problems uh, on the 7 series. Let's start by removing this plastic in order to fix the hood latch. In order to remove this, we have to take this out, the foot rest, and normally this is just uh, glue in here, not a glue, I'm not sure uh, how the word is for that in English. See that? This tape, okay, that's out, and we have to lower this uh, panel from under the pedals because this is under this one you have to lower this one and after that you can take this out and this is with uh, plastic clips but this one is in here i'm pretty sure it's broken from here no it's just out okay perfect we had we, we can put that back what we have in here oh, oh the handle and looks pretty damn good not a single problem okay just this piece with the spring is broken and the cable doesn't look that good because everybody was using of course uh, plastic uh, plastic um, pliers to open the hood so anyway let's remove this and let's hope we can replace just this piece or maybe we have to buy this whole assembly with this out of the way um, you have to remove four Phillips screws like this yep just four unplug the light and slide this out you have to slide it out okay that's out of the way now basically we can take this out I'm pretty sure there are a few clips oh it's out yep a clip in there but it's for sure broken and check the damage so I, I I go mad when I see something like this, stuff like this. It's like somebody doesn't know how to uh, do some work and they just break stuff. That makes me crazy, for real. So let's see if this handle is from here. Yep. And it's missing a screw in here, I see that. But I'm pretty sure I have a lot of BMW screws at home. I'm not really sure if this is from here because it's like a different color. Maybe they just bought another one. Not really sure. Anyway, good that we have this. Now, let's see if we can save this one. Do we have a screw in there? Huh. We have to buy the whole assembly. Oh, and goes here all we have one Philips in here, another one in there. See that? And I think the, this assembly comes with all the parts. Or maybe we can unscrew this. Not really sure. I have to take this out in order to look on the other side. Because the, if there is a screw, we have to take it from here for sure. So let's see how deep this one goes. Let's hope we can remove this easily. I've managed to take it out. It was quite simple, this is the piece, on top of this piece comes the OBD plug, everything with uh, Phillips screws and comes out. And um, I have to buy this one complete because you cannot take the spring out. We have the part number in here inside, yep, I just have to order this piece. We have the handle, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of screws at home and we can put everything back together. And now let's see what's wrong on the engine side. I've put some water in the engine, like 3 liters, it, it was a lot. We have to check if it's leaking and we have in here the alternator problem, um, headlamp right and airbag for the this seat. And service let's see okay that's about it so we have uh, we have to check the car and we have to change the filters for the cabin filter micro filter is the cabin filter is like minus 14,000 kilometers we have to reset that with the scanner because it 
won't leave us alone but that's the only problem in here and here check we have to do these three problems first on the engine bay I removed the clutch fan and we have a nasty leak yep I hope it's from a hose or something like that maybe the water pump but uh, as I can see the leak is after the water pump and in there right up in there there is a hose I'm going to take the shred fan out and uh, we have uh, we'll have a better look with that out of the way now we can see from where we have this leak let me try to show you oh it was leaking directly on my mirror see that focus the that hose is leaking so not bad because it's just a hose and it's this hose and it's this one so not that bad uh, but I see that the water pump was replaced because we have a new color from the thermostat and we have some silicone here instead of gasket and this is our um, alternator and this one seems to be replaced as well or fixed or something like that because we have a gasket in here silicon gasket as well I have to check all the wires first and after that I'm going to start to remove this because like I've seen here I see a 2017 stamp so this was replaced so for sure something else is is broken but I've checked on the battery so it's not charging at all oh the belt needs to be replaced anyway so we have to figure out what's wrong with the alternator and after that we are going to do some other work we have some, we have some oil leakage for sure like a lot just on bank 2 because this one the bank 1 is completely dry but this one is leaking like no tomorrow okay let's go underneath take all the uh, plastic stuff from underneath and uh, have a better look on the alternator and uh, we are going to do steps small steps did i said uh, small steps <laughs> i've took almost everything out and um, you will see a video on each uh, step how to remove everything is going to be a video on how to remove the alternator is going to be a video on how to remove the water pump uh, fan shroud uh, clutch fan and stuff like that but this is the update after a few hours in fact i removed uh, the cover engine cover as well because this one was leaking and the engine looks pretty damn amazing no burn oil in here nothing everything seems to be perfect for real so I've covered this up because I have to work in here and I don't want anything to go in on the engine and in order to remove this uh, you will have a video for that for sure but you have to take all the plugs out from the engine computers and stuff like that and um, I am um, going to check now the wires from the alternator to the engine computer to see if the wire is okay before I start um, ordering parts and uh, when I removed everything I've noticed that we have a bad water pump the water pump was leaking a hose was leaking as well we need to replace a lot of gaskets and all the pulleys and um, and oh my god how this one are, are called um, tensioner pulley as well this one and uh, the other one needs to be replaced so I have to order those for sure uh, a belt for the climate compressor I have to replace because it's shot and uh, I think we are going to close the video in here because I have to order parts now but first before we close the video let's check the, this um, cable from the alternator to the uh, engine computer to see if the cable is working and if the cable is working uh, we can know for sure that the alternator is bad and this is how we, I will test if the wiring is working this is the plug for the alternator we have just one wire in here the other one is blank see that 
just one. So I follow the wire through here and um, I've checked for the color and I know that on this plug is the pin 20. Maybe you can see, I hope it's going to focus 14, that row with 14. Plug the probe on pin 20. It's connected with my probe in here and now you can see in there is showing one, nothing, no resistance. And if I'm going to plug oops now in here so the wire is working let me try to show you like this see now it's a closed loop open loop closed loop so the wires everything the wire is working till the computer and with all of that being said and done, I think I am at the end of the video. Uh, if you want to see more progress on this car, join me for the next episode. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, as usual, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.